Morning. And a woman from Newport's been doing her bit to help keep people safe. Hayley J is currently furloughed and has been making face masks for students at Shrewsbury College. And she's pretty handy with a needle and thread because she ran her own bridal and couture, couture business for 32 years. Morning, Hayley. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Lovely to hear from you. So uh, what happened to the bridal and couture business then? Well, actually, um, I haven't been doing that for a few years. I work for Furrows as a local business specialist in Shrewsbury, Shropshire, um, the whole, over the whole branch, actually. Um, and that sort of helps me meet lots of different business people. And what happened was I was at a Zoom meeting um, and I was talking about the fact that I could sew and could I help anybody. Um, and I got Catherine Armstrong from the college group who said that they needed some help making some face coverings to get some students back into the college. So I offered my services and a way to go. And I had friends cutting fabric for me, making labels to explain how to put them on. It just absolutely went mad. Uh, didn't m do much sleep, I must admit, that week. Um, but it was, it was really good. We managed to get the students back um, on the 15th. And then it sort of grew again. Um, and Ling and Davis got in contact with me and I'm now helping them raise funds for the cancer charity. Uh, and you can order the face coverings online, which is uh, wonderful. Um, and that's been going very well. You did loads of research before you started making them, because, of course, you, you can't just put these things together without knowing what you're doing, I suppose, can you? Well, no. And I, I was a pattern cutter originally, so I looked at it. People think it's just a square bit of fabric with a bit of elastic, but it's the type of fabric you use. I use an aluminium strip over the nose, so if you wear glasses, your glasses don't steam up and it keeps it closer to your face. But that the elastic was the main thing. I was going to say that's a big thing, actually, the steaming up, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they don't understand why it's happening. Obviously, you're pushing your hot air over your glasses all the time. Um, but the little metal strips, I found a supplier for those in the UK, so I get those in. The elastic's really important. I use a hat elastic, which therefore doesn't pinch the back of the ear and cause all that redness that you saw when the COVID first came out, all those poor nurses with those really sore ears. So I looked at that and thought, right, how can we improve that part of it? So that, that's what I've been doing, really. How many of them are you doing this? Um, myself and a friend are doing the sewing. Uh, I didn't get to bed till 12 last night and started yesterday at four. Um, and I'll be doing the same today. It's just been quite crazy. People from all over the world, I've got a group in the UAE, Malaysia and Singapore that are all waiting for masks. Um, I've got office companies that have got people in dark suits and they want something quite smart. Other people want something quite fun. Children going to hospital needing them. You know, I've been putting like diggers and horses and things on those all sorts of different people cancer patients gosh and where I, are you I getting all you so many. where are you getting all your material from and you're doing loads of different designs then as well yeah well it was really that was one of the most amazing things i bought all the fabric locally i've actually been buying fabric from all over the world for years but of course you couldn't get anything um so i just happened to be looking online and spotted a company in shawbury round the corner from me and this poor lady now has got me on speed dial <laughs> so we just say I need this I need that and they've they've been brilliant they open up on days that they shouldn't open just to let me in because I know they need you know I need the fabric amazing because um you studied uh, the college as well didn't you well, yeah, and this was a big part of it. When I was asked by Catherine Armstrong from the college to help, that was something that really locked into my heart straight away because I think my whole career basically is, is from the college. You know, they taught me to be a designer. Um, and as much as I could do to help the college, it, it wasn't going to be a problem. It was a mission. And that's, that's what I did. And all through my whole career, whether it's because I'm selling cars or whatever, the whole discipline of, of life and work and everything came from the college. So it was the least I could do. Has this made you want to go back to sewing and, and things like that? Or are you going to stick with the car industry? No, I love the car industry. I think if you've got a product that you absolutely love, whether it be a dress or whether it be a car, if you love it and, and you, you know, it's a great product. To me, it's all about product and selling the right thing. And when are you going to go back to work? Do you know? I'm not quite sure at the moment uh, because I work in the business sector. A lot of my businesses that I deal with are only just starting to get back to work now themselves. So I hope it won't be too long. 
Uh, I keep in contact with work. They've been marvellous. Um, and it's, you know, it's a really good team over there. So we all know what's going on. But we're just waiting for that little bit of, you know, uh, buzz in the market, I think. And then we'll be back. Hayley, absolutely amazing what you're doing, really making a difference. Thank you very much for talking to us. Hayley J from Newport, making face masks for people during the pandemic.